I'm Lynn Zapone, the Chief Talent Officer at Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen. I've been with Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen almost five months now. What's up, fellas and filladies? Today, we're gonna be watching the Popeye's Chicken Edition of Undercover Boss. I'm here today with my best friend, Dagio, the big penis guy. He's gonna add so much value to your order today. He's gonna make it a large order of french fries. Well, I'm here to get this done, y'all. I'm here for you. Let's go. Let's get into it. I'm in New Orleans, Louisiana, the birthplace of our brand. Today I'm gonna to be working in the back of the restaurant, helping to prep and prepare food for the day. It's a big responsibility because I'm really trying to gather as much information as I can for the whole leadership team. Hi, good, good morning. morning. I'm Pam, I'm looking for Aaron. Aaron! Well, that's me! I'm about to say, brother, I'm looking for you, no, though, bro. No. <laughs> I'm not the manager of this fucking place, <laughs> God damn it! What the... <laughs> I always knew you'd work for a fucking... No! Place fry. No! No fried chicken. I know you can make some good fried chicken. No. <laughs> hey, you Aaron? Oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, I'm Pam. Hey, bro, I'm Aaron. Nice uh, to meet you. Basically, we'll be showing you how to do the prep and the fry station. Okay. Between 9.30 and 9.45 is when your chicken should be in the grease. For right? the opening. For the opening, okay. for 10 o'clock. I'll show you how to do the first one exactly. Okay. Get four legs, four thighs, four breasts, four legs. All right, put, put it in the basket. Yeah, put it in the batter. And you said four thighs. All right, so something tells me this lady has never touched any fried chicken in her life. Yeah, no, that's that was my first thought initially as well. Like, she's actually listening to this man carefully. Yeah. Like, like, oh, okay, this is how you do it, this is how you hold it. And she's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Like a dish, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Be honest with you, I don't think she never even probably worked in a fast food chain before. Pam is not used to getting her hands dirty at all. I'm like, no, 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 don't flip, tumble. If you gotta waste flour all over the floor, just get it done. And there it is. She's never worked in a fast food <laughs> chain before. That's probably true. I, uh, I'd be willing to believe that 100%. He saw right through her, dude. It took him like no time. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> she's not willing to get in there and get messy with the flour. It's like, bro, it done. has she even cooked before, bro? You think? No. Nah. 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 Absolutely not. She does not indeed love that chicken from Popeye's. I don't think she ever worked for a fast food chain. Wendy's, Rally's, nobody. The chicken strips go exactly like the chicken, except your flour, batter, flour. You remember that? Flour, batter, flour. flour. So you flour them twice. Yeah. You got it? Okay. Flour, batter, batter flour, flour for the strips. Yes, it is three things. Can you handle it? Flour, batter, flour. Flour. Stay with me. Flour, batter, flour. <laughs> Hey, Aaron, does it go in that same batter? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I floured them first. Right, then put and them then back I in the And then I put them in there. Yeah. And you do the same thing for the spicy ones. Pam asks me again. So same thing, flour, batter, flour. Bro, what do you mean she's asking again? <laughs> That's fucking insane. That's a bro, no, no, I haven't changed now. No, no. You're good. He said it's the same for the spicy shit. It's not going to be any different on any batch. <laughs> she's over here like, so the, so the same thing again, right? I got to flour, flour. No, flour Wait. twice and then batter. Bro. Right? No, no, I'll batter flour. I'm flour. just waiting, I'm just waiting for her to just be like, dude, did you know you could just do the whole flour batter flour thing for both of them? You can just do the same thing. <laughs> it was mind blown. <laughs> and he's just gonna be like. She's like, man, we need to get rid of her. And I'm turning around like, what the hell you mean? Flour, batter, flour. Flour, batter, flour, the same thing? You know what she tells me? Oh, I forgot. What girl, you forgot just that fast? I be what dang. And you never wanted to be a corporate clown? A corporate clown? Clown, you never wanted to be one of them? No, uh, no, t well, well, I... I would love to come in there with a button-down shirt on, with a tie on, and see everybody go frantic. This, uh, this complete and total, baby. for no reason. Like, what are you mad about? You're not back here frying chicken. You're not back here doing none of these things. You came in here smelling like Dolce & Gabbana cologne. You left out of here smelling like Dolce & Gabbana. What are you about? Aaron is very open and honest, but of course I want to change his perception because I definitely fell into the category of a corporate clown for him. She's sitting there like, 
man, I'm really glad that he's being honest, but this guy would think that I'm an asshole. That's exactly yeah, what this face is yeah. expressing to me right now. Yeah, no. No, she just got served a big old slice of humble pie. Facts. Facts. She's yeah. just like, man. <laughs> man, they all think we're assholes. Yes. Yes. If you're watching this, yes. Oh, man. Definitely. The corporate clown just really got her, man. Facts. Like, Facts. That's living rent free right now in her head. And she's probably like, always. <laughs> she's like, I'm a corporate clown. <laughs> oh. I really appreciated Aaron's candor because that's a message I can take back and say, do you know this is the impression that we sometimes leave? So, do you guys not realize that the impression that we leave is that we're fucking clowns? That's ass, brother. Now, I'm gonna show you one time how to do this where you won't get boing. I hope that too. And you kind of like lay it down and... I'm a little afraid. <laughs> the same way I just showed you. When I cook at home, I've got olive oil everywhere. Oops. You don't cook at home. <gasps> Give me another forearm spice, another forearm out. If you haven't noticed, your spicy chicken went off already. Oh. Oh, I'm losing a shit. What that little beef in Miss Pam? Miss Pam? Yeah. Press that strip button, Miss Pam. That button, that strip button. See right there, it's blinking? The button. The button that's blinking, Pam. Push the button, Pam. Push the blinking button, Pam. I don't understand. It's like it's just right in front of you, man. All you gotta do is read. Yeah. <laughs> the one that says strips on it. No, oh, could you keep calling that out like this man in all the damn near 100 pieces of ticket? I'm talking to you. Can you come back here? I need dipping. I need dipping. You just heard me call that. Chill out. You come back here and do it if it's so easy. The hardest part about going undercover is not to break cover when there's an opportunity to coach about something. Don't start. The guest sees everything. Everything becomes part of their experience. I heard you five times that you need dipping. Like the man just did all the, all the ticket. I mean, that's all true. You know, that might be part of their experience, but you can tell that this man is also just experiencing a lot of stress. No, that's just like, wild. That's like, wild. That's like the worst recipe for disaster in any place. Because that dude's super frustrated. And a hard worker, and, though. It's yeah. Like, you can tell he wants to do well and he wants yeah. to do more. Like, he's probably frustrated for legitimate reasons. But it's, the, the, the point is, is, he's so frustrated, it's now leaking out. And yeah. it's starting to get to a point where it's like, he's not able to contain it no more. Yeah. So everyone's going to have a bad day. It is. Yeah, it's definitely like it has reached an unprofessional level, no doubt. Now, it needs to be addressed. But, man, hopefully she's trying to address it from, like, a positive point of view. You try to get to the core of why he's frustrated yeah. in the first place. Because at the end of the day, dude, there's a reason he feels that way. Yeah, and bro, everyone just wants good chicken. Love that chicken from Popeyes. And they're only ever gonna make good chicken if there's love. Hold on, I'm talking to you. To me, that's a coachable moment. Y'all better chill. He's wearing that uniform. He's wearing that Popeyes logo. He represents the brand. She ain't finna come back here and drop nothing because she don't know how to drop nothing. Y'all want the Y'all want the smoke? He's like, bro, I got some for you. I got some for your ass. Come on, quick, bro. Don't piss off the guy from Popeyes. Facts, bro. Hey, I'm Pam. I'm here to see Gina. Oh yeah, this is Gina. Come on in. I'm here in New Orleans to work with a trainer tonight to find out what's working, what's not, what we could do differently. I've been working uh, 27 years at Popeyes. 27 years. Oh, yeah, that's a long time. 27 years, dude. Oh my that's god. That's wild. Ooh. Ooh. Man. Smell like chicken. I hope, um, yeah, man. I hope that lady's getting paid. Yeah. I hope she got that, that fucking eight weeks of vacation time type shit. I hope oh. it's better than that, but I hope oh it's my been Lord. worth it. I hope it's been worth it. Yeah. If anything, I hope she really makes really good chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Above all, hopefully after 25 years, she makes the best chicken. Which location does she work at? This is how it all starts off. When the customer comes in, they gonna order off the menu board. Mm -hmm. You gotta take your hands off here. Okay. They don't want you to do that. Okay. Hi, welcome to Popeyes. Will you be dining in with us today? That's all you gotta say. Okay. Want to say it to me like I'm accustomed All to right. say. Welcome to Popeye's. Uh, would you like to eat here or to go? Yeah. Would okay. you be dining in with us? Uh, would be so I need to say dining in. Dining in with us. I don't know how she doesn't yeah, know that, but I'm like, bro, I'm glad she's like, no, I'm gonna set her straight, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, well, like, will you be dining with us? She's a man. She's like a teenager just starting out. Yeah. Like, like this is her first job, bro. Usually, you're like 
worried about doing your job really well in front of... I mean, I guess she is trying to play like she doesn't know the job at all. But, bro, but you could even tell, like, just yeah, now, she was dead know. ass, like, oh, yeah, I need to say it like that every time. Are you dining in? You yeah, know? yeah, it's like she had never thought about it once, like, oh, yeah, that is how I'm supposed to do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've had a lot of fun watching this with you. But you know what? I think we're going to go play some Dragon Ball. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's what's going to happen. If you, uh, if you want to go ahead and see part two, leave us a thumbs up and a comment down below. Um, thank you guys for watching until the end today. Thank you. Um, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Um, let's go play some Dragon Ball, dude. Let's go. See ya. Are you still here? I said we're going to play Dragon Ball. Go away. <laughs>